Hi, YouTube family. So we have Jen today. You can say hi. Hi. And she's getting a nude and white style uh, for a wedding. So with some like white lace looking things. So let's create something. To this salon or what around this, this area? area, period. <laughs> well, I ran into them one day. I went and got my toes on up in here. And, you know, the owner, she knew me. And then um, I helped them do a nail set because mm -hmm. they were busy. And then... Um, and then I came back, I brought him some food. And then I was gonna go out to LA to work. Mm -hmm. But then I was like, ugh, I don't feel like driving. They're gonna come to me. So I'll just come right here and right down the street from my house. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's far. It's not even bad, it's just the traffic. Mm -hmm. Traffic makes everything like, worse. Yeah. So do you wear nails often? Um, yeah, I, I started doing nails a year ago. I got bored during the pandemic. Um, so and started wearing nails? Or yeah. you started doing your own? Doing my own. Okay, so you know how to do acrylic? Mm-hmm. Nice, but it's hard doing your own. I like, um, I like gel better. What? Gel? Hard gel? Hard gel? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't do hard gel. I really had to, you know. But I think um, gel extensions, those new I, things. Th yeah, that's new. Everybody wants those. That's easier for you to do on your nails. Oh yeah. I I had it once. It didn't hold up for me. Um, I do those on a few people, and they last them like damn near five weeks. Nice. I feel like you have to have nice nail beds for it. Mm-hmm. Like a big nail bed. You can't have wide. Because yeah, there's some girls that they have like really wide, big nails. Mm -hmm. And uh, that doesn't work out. No. I think my nails are just too small. Mm -hmm. And then I wear them long, so. Yeah. I like lost two in a week. I was like, oh no, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got addicted to buying nail stuff. Yeah. It's horrible. Horrible. So, two kids? Yeah. Two. Only supposed to be one, but he came out of nowhere. <laughs> Bless him. Oh, yeah. He's my little. Is your first one a girl or a boy? A girl. Okay, okay so look, look at you. Yes. One boy, one girl. Uh-huh. Yeah. How do you feel starting over that long? Shit. Was it hard? <laughs> I didn't remember all of the, 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 the things you gotta do. No. And boys are so different. He is so much, he's too much energy. Like, I'm too old, too tired. <laughs> how, uh, how old are you, just mind me asking? 39. 39. So it was past 35. Did you have complications? No, I was 33 when I had 33, him. 33. Yeah. But I had a high risk pregnancy because I had oh, a yeah, bad heart. Oh, yeah, because he's in first grade. Yeah. I'm thinking, I'm confusing first with one year. Yeah, no. One year old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Super different, super. Yeah, I want another one, but it's Are like, you oh, kidding? I gotta start over. Oh my God. I do, I don't know, some reason I want a set of twins. I've always have. Are you serious? I do. Oh my God. I can't. <laughs> you wanna leave them long or you wanna come? Then I need to cut them just a little bit. I'll poke him in the eye. Oh, he's older, he's first grade. <laughs> mm. He's always like, mom, you hurt me with your nail. Yeah, he's super, his dad is needy, but he's a exact replica of his father. Yeah. Yeah, rub my back, rub my feet. Get this, get that. I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> is he spoiled? Big time. And your oldest is, um, she here? She's, she's, she's staying in Marina Valley. Okay. okay, so she's still in the area. Yeah. 
She actually, 20 years old, she just got her license yesterday. Oh, but I bought really? her her car and gave it to her in June. I know it wasn't 16, but I, I got her one. Nice, that's sweet. Yeah. I know, I'm over here talking about, oh, what about my car my son's gonna want? He's not even of age yet. Oh, yeah. yeah. But to be able to do that for your kid is amazing. Yes. Because it's hard. I felt pretty it's, accomplished. You know, there's grown people out here that have a hard time finding cars. I knew I had a hard time with my cars. Mm -hmm. They kept breaking down. Yeah. And I found it a nice, good, decent car for a banging price. Nice. So how do you like California? Uh, so far, it's good, the nice, the weather is nice. Yeah. I don't, I'm a chameleon. I can go anywhere. Yeah. Just blend right in. I don't want to wear it. I travel. So, so I go somewhere. I've been watching you since you came out. Yeah? Oh, right after you. my son was born. Oh. I, I was on Instagram and I happened to run through one of your videos. I was like, who the fuck is this? <laughs> and uh, it was before you got... My boobs and everything. Oh, like a long time ago. Yo. And, um... Yeah, I've been watching you forever. That's a oh, and since I was in Maryland? Uh huh. And before I moved to Atlanta? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've been on my whole journey. <laughs> yeah. I done moved. I had ups and downs. I grown up. Yeah. So I was like, what? 31. So I was like, what? 20, 20 something? You're only 31? Mm hmm. Oh, wow. I'm born 1990. I wish I was 31 again. I know. People think I'm older. <laughs> I would have done things so much different. Two of them older. I started early though. Yeah. I had my son early. Me too. I was 18. Got married early. I just bought my businesses. I think my 23 was I had my first job. 25, I had my second. Wow. Yeah, and I know I didn't realize how young 25, 25. All right, we are going to do some white and some nude. So, do you do nails full time? No. I don't even work. No? Mm -hmm. You know what? It's cr a lot of y'all don't fucking work. A lot of my clients do not work. Well, I normally work, but like I said, I'm having health issues, so... Oh. Um, we're off right now, so I have yeah. my surgery. Okay. We'll help you think it's better for you. I hope so too. Freaking, I don't have a heart attack. Heart problems? Mm hmm. Um, last summer, June, mm -hmm. July, and August, they had to come stop my heart on my, on my front porch. Oh no. Because uh, it went from, you know, regular normal heart rate to like almost 240. And it won't stop. What? Why did it? Why? Something with my lower chambers, um, the electrical part of your heart. Uh -huh. Like there's an ex, like two extra entrances or something. Uh huh. And uh, so when it starts, when it starts that irregular heartbeat, it keeps going, and mm -hmm. and it'll go through all those extra little holes, and it goes around and around. It don't stop. Like they told me if I were to ever experience a heart attack, mm -hmm. my heart would, it wouldn't stop. It would keep going and going and going because it would just loop through, loop through, loop through. And this, this started happening recently? Well, it started with palpitations. Uh -huh. But I, you know, had those maybe like once every five years or something. Okay. But last summer, it was every 30 days. Wow, that's scary. Oh, I was freaking out. I was like, what the hell? And you're so young. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. Did anybody else in your family have it? Mm -mm. And so now they got me on these freaking pills that make me fat and all my hair fell out. Oh no. Oh yeah, my hair used to be down in my butt and now it's, it fell out like it's up to here now. I'm so, called the doctors, I was like, Wait, are you guys gonna do something about my weight and my hair when it's all said and done? They were like, what's the problem? Like, you guys put me on the worst medication. Like, mm. 
it, it's miserable and it makes me lazy like mm. no energy to do anything oh no so your treatment how long does that take well you know because they had all the surgeries on hold and everything up until recently i'm just waiting in line right because the hospital is so busy yeah and the surgeons you know they're there are people that, you know, have worse situations and they're before me, but I had my appointment on the 9th. I told him I'm tired of waiting. Like, you guys can give me a new surgeon or, or he needs to schedule it now. Cause I'm done taking these pills. It's so random in life, isn't it? It is. I always say that, like, you never, you never know. Everybody has a story and mm -hmm. random shit just be happening you know? that you don't expect. Yep, yep. So who helps you? Are your husband? Uh, no, I kicked him out. <laughs> um, <clears throat> no, but even that, he didn't help me. I helped myself. Yeah. That must be tough. Yeah. I mean, I'm mom. I'm supposed to be superwoman, you know. That's how it normally is. We, we, we women figure out how to do it by ourselves. Mm -hmm. You have family out here? My dad's right here in Marina Valley. Okay. Um, so your family's here. You born and mm -hmm. raised here? Nice. Yeah. Yeah, I left my home so early, so it was just like, you know. I did try to move back there, you know, last year to be around them, and it was like COVID, and then my mom didn't let us come over anyways, and then everybody <laughs> had their own life. So it was like... I just had to remember, like, I never really relied on them, so. Yeah. That's yeah. how I was, too. Um, my dude thought that was weird. Because he's, like, really close with his family. And, um, like, we live a quarter mile down the road from his parents, you know. They're a really tight-knit family. And, uh, like, me and my family, we just, we see each other when we see each other. Right. You know, we... It's not always, you know, oh, every time I see you, let me give you a hug or, you know. Less affection. Yeah. And so he's like, that's, I just find that weird. I'm like, why yeah. do you find that weird? What's your nationality? Mexican and white. Okay. Um, so is it the the white side is less affection or the Mexican side? I, I don't know. Both? I would say, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my family aren't affectionate either. Yeah. But we know we love each other, right. you know. Well, you know, if I need something, they got me. Right. For sure. For sure. But hugging and, oh, I miss you so much. Mm -hmm. but kissing, uh-uh, that's dead. Yeah. Same. But it is nice to see families like that. Like, it is. Mm -hmm. But I just, I wasn't raised like that, so... Yeah, I know. My mom's waiting for at least COVID to get better so she can come out here and see me. Yeah. I've been here almost a year already. Can she ain't seen your me? house yet? No. Mm -mm. No, she ain't leave her house since COVID, so she's older. Well, I kind of... I entrapped us in our house for, like, a year. Like, I, I still don't let my son outside play. Yeah. It's going on the shoot. And now this new one, I mean, not saying that I'm all scared of it or whatnot, but you have you have a heart condition now, so you have to yeah. be careful. So I just stay home by myself. If I drink, I drink by myself. Yeah, no friends? No, I do. Yeah. But you don't let them over. Mm, no. But we we've all slowly been coming out. Yeah. And then, you know, everybody pops up sick on odd times, and I'm like, nah, you guys can stay away. <laughs> but it's weird, because, like, my son, before, mm -hmm. you know, he'd be in 
daycare and whatnot, and he was sick all the time, you know, catching colds or whatever it is from all the kids. When we were home this past year, mm -hmm. knock on wood, my son ain't been sick one time. Oh yeah, because he wasn't around all the kids. Yeah. Your so kids play. he's back in school now? Yeah. How's he been cooked? Mm -hmm. Not yesterday, and then last Friday he got in a fight. What? In first grade? <laughs> yes. What are you fighting in first grade? I don't know, some little boy pushed him, so then he pushed the little boy into the bookcase, and I guess the principal had to talk to him, and Zeke, Zeke tried to tell him that, you know, he pushed me first, and, um... Your son mixed. I hear oh. you say Zeke. <laughs> yeah, well, his name is Ezekiel. Cute. Um, I like it because the yeah. meaning of the name. Yeah. Uh, he freaking, he's really, really light skin. Like, he is white. Like, uh -huh. super, super white. And, um, you, you could see bruises and stuff on him very easy. But mm -hmm. nobody lifted up his sleeve to see if there was anything wrong. Because I guess the little boy got, like, something on his head. So that's why I had talks to the principal. And so when Zeke came home and I was getting him ready for the bath, I was like, what happened to your arm? He was like, I told you. Oh, I told you he hit me first. And I was like, that's a big bruise. Mm -hmm. And uh, I got with his teacher. I was like, well, I know you guys were quick to jump on him. I was like, but the other kid did touch him because look at his arm. Right. So I know it's not right either way, but, you know, he was just doing what he had to do. Do they suspend kids in first grade? I don't know, but his daddy says I ain't raising no punk. <laughs> I mean, that's how you're not supposed to. You're supposed yeah. to tell your kids to hit back. Yeah. I should tell my kids to hit back. Yeah, I, I'm a firm believer on that. They hit you first, hit the ass back, and do it later. Mm -hmm. I used to tell my daughter, don't, don't come home beat up. I was like, come home beat up, I'm gonna beat your ass. Mm -hmm. But she never gave me problems. She never got in fights. Nothing. She was a good girl? Yes. That's good. So much not like her mother. Right? So much that's not how like my, her mother. That's how my mom feels about my kids. She's like, you were the worst kid I had, and your kids mm -hmm. are well behaved. And I was like, well. Yeah, I was scared because they would always tell me, watch when you have your kids. Watch. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I coasted with Miranda, and then Zeke, he's going to be the one. You feel it? Oh, I know it. <laughs> he tests me and his dad all the time. Alright, guys, then we're going to encapsulate these. Look here. I can do one side, I don't do the other side. The other side look a hot mess. I can't do nothing. I'm not ambidextric at all. Um, in the beginning, the the one hand would come out perfect, you know, and the other hand would come out like messed up, yeah. super messed up. But now I'm, I think I'm like almost as good as I am on both hands. Uh, I pretty much got it down. Impossible. I don't, I don't even put myself through that stress. It takes me a long time though. I always have somebody to do my nails. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm not about to, I don't have time. I don't have the patience. Especially if you have somebody who can do your nails. Mm -hmm. That's no point. I don't even like sitting and getting my nails done. Yeah. I'm not, and my ADD is too bad for that. Already. Mm -hmm. I ain't had acrylic in a minute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know. I seen somewhere they only do like people doing only just gel extensions or they're just doing this or that. I'm like, yeah, I have, I have everything, but I just I rather work with gel. I think the colors come out different too. Yeah. You know, with the gel. Mm hmm. 
You have color gel or is it clear gel and you paint? No, I have I have color gel. And then, you know, of course you can mix and make your own colors with the clear. Um, so yeah, but I use colored and then just how you do the color and then you go over with the clear, I do the same thing with gel. See, these are my my journeys okay really not good um but the beginning wasn't good um of course not nobody was yeah <laughs> i tried the marbling crap uh-huh that's cute so do you take clients Mm, my friends yeah. I'm not ready to put myself out there like that yet I'm not even licensed I get in trouble <laughs> so, but I'll be ripping my nails off like two weeks and doing something new or changing my color every other day because I'm bored Gotta keep them out of the sun. So cute. Alright, now we're gonna shape. Now these soft files are from Zule's. Y'all know that's my girl. So do you have siblings? Um, yeah. <laughs> Why you hesitate like that? I want to talk to him. No. Mm. They older or younger? Uh, one's younger and one's older. Be like that. I'm brother and a sister. Relax, shipping. Yeah, I don't really talk to mine either like that. Yeah. They're all older though. Yeah. I feel like people grow up and you know they get their own family and or they remain fuck ups <laughs> <laughs> but then like you said your family wasn't close so uh -uh. why is he them so yeah we're that family that be fighting each other freaking all that toxic yes extremely <laughs> it's only the white side the white side be toxic? Yes. <laughs> Very much so. Everybody moved out of state though. So, the past 10 years have been beautiful. Do you have family out here with you or no? No. Mm -mm. Just uh -huh. me. I started, you know, my boyfriend. Mm -hmm. So I need kids and my assistant and my boyfriend. Did, is that the did the yeah. assistant come with you from? Yes. Nice. Mm -hmm. But she, um, she was from out here. Oh. So she's from Vegas. She lived in Cali, and then she was she moved to D.C. for the past like nine years. And she was trying to get away from there, <laughs> and then so it happened. My boyfriend lived out here. I was like, well, come on, let's do it. Let's I'll move. Right. I'm toxic. Look, <laughs> you don't want to be with me. I have money to move. I'm gonna leave. <laughs> you don't want to be with me. I'm out. Yeah. I was dating somebody over there, but he he didn't want to be with me. The 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 one guy. That no, was, not oh. my not my ex. There was another the one after my ex. I had dated somebody. Oh okay. He didn't want to be with me, so I left. He's one of those. Oh, you don't need a title. Oh no, I'm not dealing with that. <laughs> I hate those type of men because it just leaves, you know, room for you to do what you want to do. You know. Yeah. Because if you're gonna be with me, we're gonna ride out these hard humps. And he don't believe in riding through the hard humps. He too much work. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody has a different view on relationships. Totally. 
which is fine by me, but I have to do what works for me. Mm -hmm. I can't keep crying. Like, I can't keep being this emotionally depressed person and trying to th thinking it's something wrong with me. It's not. It's you. Yeah, that's where I'm at. After 16 years. That's a long time. Very long time. Very. I think finding the spark after so many years is important. Yeah. Trying to keep that spark left for you. Yeah. He don't believe in sparks. He don't believe in none of that. He just believes in... Same shit every day? To do make me happy type. It's about me being happy, you know? You just do what I need. And we tried the, you know, working on the compromise, the give and take, you know? Mm -hmm. So, but I have to give first, but then, and he takes, but then he never gives back. Mm -hmm. There's always an excuse when it comes down to that. Yeah, I didn't want to do it. And it's like, um, what is the place? It's the old... It's an old Halloween store, so it's a pretty big space you know, to rent. Yeah, it's a it's a big space. I don't know how many suites are in it, but they gotta be good size. It looks pretty legit, though. I mean, mm -hmm. but yeah, I can't. Yeah, it's a big space. I can understand what you're saying about being in a small space. Yeah, because they have those uh, Phoenix salons and stuff like that mm -hmm. you can rent out. But I was like, I don't want to be in a closed room all day without nobody. Yeah. I'm used to a shop environment, talking to people. And then, you know, if you wanted a pedicure, I can, you know, you can uh -huh. get a pedicure done. Yeah, I don't do feet. Mm -hmm. I do my feet. Make sure I'm in the shot. Sometimes I'd be off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm glad I found them because they're not far from home. Every time I wake up to come here, I'd be like, oh, imagine if I agree, you know, I decided to go all the way out to L.A. Dude. I'd be so sick in traffic. And then after a long day, I'd drive home. Yeah. Your 9 o'clock appointments, you need to leave at 7 o'clock. Right. Maybe even earlier, depending on where you go. I would never make it on time. Now it's actually pretty close. It took me through all these back streets. Um, I thought it was gonna take me all the way around and come up the freeway, but it shot straight through the middle. I was like, that's not even far. Yeah, we got here. You got here before the time that you said. Uh huh. There was no traffic, or at least no cars on the road. Yeah, they have the good, good, like the Kira Sky one is a good brand. Okay, so guys, I got foil. I got this cute little foil. And we're gonna. And we use Zule's foil transfer, which is right here. It's available at her store. Y'all can check it out. the hell? It did nothing. No? I think this foil is broke. <gasps> Bitch. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna try this again. I don't know. That foil was bad, so we're gonna use some cute roses.
Now, if this doesn't stick, mm -hmm. then it's not it's not the foil, it's the glue. Mm -hmm. But it looks like it's sticking. Yeah. I never had a problem with this. Bam. Pretty bam, okay. Where is the oh over here? <laughs> Just if I don't know where the camera's at. I'm like you bitch. How dare you not stick? That's crazy. Are we gonna try? There we are. So pretty. All right, we're gonna put some top coat and then we're gonna put diamonds. The fun time, we got diamonds now. We're gonna add some diamonds. Where the hell is your hand? There it is. <laughs> I can't see. Let me see. Right. Twist it this way. All right, perfect. That's a perfect angle. Yeah, my hand gets hot and it starts burning sometimes. I'm like, am I getting cancer? Am I getting, listen. I feel like everything causes cancer. Yeah. And I, you know, it's not like you get your nails on every day you live under the lamp. Mm hmm. So, how do you like Lemon Hip Hop? I didn't like it. It's not for me. Yeah. I don't feel like I'm that. I, I, I'm not that loud, dog. Like, they made me so loud. They didn't. I would like, they, did, they made you like you were some crazy, loud, loud. ignorant in other people's business. Like, mm -hmm. I was like, I'm loud, but I'm not that loud. But then again, I was, I was younger you know but out of all the girls that were on the show when you were on the show that you were not the loudest or the you know the craziest or the freaking whatever you weren't no okay they wanted me to do things that i didn't want to do so that's why yeah i'm not for it it took me a while to say yes to you know really yeah, because this it wasn't, you know, the path that I wanted to go down. It's stressful. It's all this drama. Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. But wasn't it supposed to be real life? It's supposed to be, but no. No, it wasn't. Yeah, because they don't follow you around every day. Like, you know, mm -hmm. that's impossible. They just pop up? No, you are scheduled to go film here and film there and have the scenes, you know? You mm -hmm. have scenes. But it was exhausting but i did do good you know because for the business and stuff i just moved to atlanta like that all that right. that part was real i did just move to atlanta and um shops did good so i really did get a shop at the, like i literally moved to atlanta in um like four months and bought a shop yeah so that part was real yeah, you happen to go on the most drama one. Yeah. But ain't nobody really trying to like that. You know, I've been posted out public, like, here, uh -huh. my shop, pull up, y'all want to do something? Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is good. Did it break last night? Oh, it still works, thank God. <laughs> I don't even know if people still use the spray. Me, I use it. 
it dries my um my glue oh. instantly mm -hmm. i don't got time for slipping and sliding and stuff I was going to order somewhere else. Like, oh, do I need it? Cause you know, I I tend to OD on stuff. Um, are you, are you talking about the spray or something? Yeah, the spray. Oh, <laughs> I was like, they have it at Marshalls. They have the spray at Marshall. Mm -hmm. They have that one too. Shut up, girl. Or the one in else? Or they? Because I saw it, and I was like, I couldn't believe that I saw the spray, and I was like, dude, I haven't used that spray since like 1997 or something. <laughs> For soak, soak wrap. So you've been doing nails for a while? Um, or when you were getting your nails done? That's when I was getting them done. But, because that was up in the shops all the time. I was shocked to see it. Right there in Marshalls. $5.99. That's a good price, too. Mm-hmm. I've never had these many rhinestones on my fingers. No. I don't know placement. Um, I struggle with placement. Every three to one. Like, it's like a puzzle. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, I try to watch and see and they even have, you know, the placement charts and everything, but I don't know. You just gotta get creative, use your brain. I try. Doesn't work out. So cute. Like it? Mm hmm. They are pretty. Try not to put too much because, you know, I'm trying to do a classy wedding look. Mm -hmm. I can go overboard. <laughs> Did people cancel on you through the day? No. Um, I, we still have five minutes till she get here. I already texted her. No. At first, I was doing $10 deposit and people were canceling left and right. I was like, oh no, I'm being too nice. So, um, I, that's why I made it 50. Yeah. They'll come for 50. And mm -hmm. I don't lose 50. But at 10, they were disrespectful to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, y'all bitches think y'all funny. <laughs> What's the farthest someone's driven? Um, three hours. Shut up. <laughs> Especially when I was in um in Atlanta, they used to come from from North Carolina, South Carolina. Mhm. Mm and then when I was in DC, they were coming from uh, Philly. Mhm. Mm so they were coming. Yeah, when I saw Van Buren, I was like, shut up. People who watch my YouTube for nails, they say they like when I pluck through the stone the, blocks. The stones? Yeah. 
with my nails. <laughs> I was so pissed I had to go drive around for this idiot last night. He could have no contact with his wife. I had to go all the way up the hill to Hesperia. Who was this? My cousin. Oh. Which is 100 miles from my house. And then from Hesperia, I had to drive all the way to Riverside off Arlington to go take him his wallet and his keys and his clickers and then drive all the way back to El Pinar. All last night? Mm-hmm. I think I left my house at six o'clock. I got home at 11.08. You was on a mission, but mm. you made it this morning. Yeah, I did. And I didn't go to bed till 2.16. Fucking tired. You wanna go home and get a nap in before uh -huh. you go home? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Or we'll probably stop in Marshall's on my home. I have to get one store in a day. Yeah? I actually have a problem shopping. Whether online or whatever. All right, YouTube family, this is the finished product. Cute, classy, ready for a wedding, adorable. I love the roses, they came out way better than, I think it was meant for you to get this. Mm -hmm. You like them? Mm -hmm. Thank you for coming, Jennifer. Thank you. All right, let me get in some details for them.